So it's only three or four weeks ago that we began the kind of final plastering stage. Or at least the uh, yeah the, the base coats are all done now. So the wall heating is covered here in the living room. And the main piece of work was the, the ceiling. So two layers of uh, kind of fairly coarse clay plasters of clay mixed with sand. And uh, we kind of experimented to see if that would be enough. Normally then a fine layer would go on top. But actually this worked out pretty good. Uh, so rubbed with a sponge, kind of shaped. Uh, it's a little bit yeah, rough perhaps with a brush off and then some, uh, what's Grundierung in English? Can't remember. Anyway, yeah, a base coat uh, to help bind it and then either paint it white or we get a, yeah, kind of white fine clay plaster so we never have to paint it again. But looking really nice with the beams and once it's painted, the beams will really stand out. I'm very pleased with that. And we go on through to the kitchen. Same thing done here. Um, really makes the, the beam stand out. So just remembering four or so weeks ago when it was still just the dirty under layers of plaster, there was uh, clay mixed with uh, straw, kind of half burnt uh, from, I think there was a fire in here at some stage. You can see the beams are quite dark and smoked oak feel. But that really makes them come out. So this is going to be wonderful when it's uh, when it's all done. Of course, the kitchen is quite dark because it's north facing. You get some reflection from the the pigsty at the back, but uh, yeah, it gets quite dark in here. So lighting is going to be important. It's all wired up. We're going to put a, a cable system going across. Uh, so yeah, the cable comes down here, and then um, yeah, these kind of LED rails going across the whole way so we can position little spotlights and also directly above me here and where I've put up the uh, plasterboard ceiling here uh, just yesterday I changed my mind on how the lighting might work there so I installed an extra bit of cabling there so that we can put in some spotlights directly over the directly over the door and that will also help light the island that will be just behind this beam and finally the walls completely covered with plasterboard all the sockets put in so next big job is to start on the floor. So I think I'll begin that tomorrow. I have 13 sacks of uh, kind of a fluid screed, which um, I'm not going to get the cement mixer out. It's buried in the back of the barn. So I'll just mix it with, uh, with the drill and stuff one sack at a time, pour it over, it'll self level and at least give us some kind of level floor that we can then insulate and uh, start the installation of the floor heating. But it'll take some weeks to dry, so better do it soon, because we told the kitchen people that they could start installing the kitchen next month. We lied. <laughs> and the bedroom, ceiling also done, walls done, all finished, ready for the final coats. And uh, the little window that we had fitted in the wall here, uh, so obviously this is now closed off. And this uh, old window that we I'd uh, just put in there to see does it fit. I had washed it and uh, I thought it looked okay, but when we, you know, the paint was still a little bit flaky and then we started scraping and sanding. And I said, sod it, we'll do the whole thing. And But it's much brighter now. Uh, there'll be a photo on the blog post accompanying this. You'll see how dark it was before. So this, I think it's oak, looks like oak. So when we oil that or something, the grain will come out lovely and there'll still be bits of old paint in the in the fibers and the grain and stuff so that'll add a really nice little accent here and then the office at the back i uh, got the plasterboard up here uh, really liking the beams here because they're so organic looking they they narrow and change direction and, uh, and that runs from there all the way through to the front of the house that's like eight or nine meter long Solid oak beams all the way through the house. It's brilliant. Yeah, so looking good. Very pleased so far. Still a lot to do, but we're getting there.